and do our I'm going to go ahead and do our stupid intro. I know we're a couple days late and Halloween was like two days ago, but you can fuck right off. I made this video and we're going to fucking use it. One more time. <laughs> we'll see you on the other side. You were just saying somebody at work came dressed as Charlie Brown. Yeah, in that in that costume with like a bunch of the black holes. <laughs> All of the holes All in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I love that. That's amazing. Yeah. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> okay, so first things first, I wanted to uh, show this um, this advertisement I found today this morning. So. Let's go ahead and pull that up. This is an absolute vodka ad. It says, "Say it loud for the people in the no. Say it loud for people in the back. Drink responsibly. Vote responsibly." So, this material relates to the promotion of alcohol and should not be viewed by anyone below the legal age of purchase and the kind of whatever. But they pull up in front of the White House. No, that's the Capitol building. With this, dear America, your vote can shake or stir the election. And then it's got a little thing that says, vote first, drink second. <laughs> but what they don't know is I was drinking while I was voting. You were there. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> but it's okay, because I, I know you'd made your mind up long before there was alcohol yep. involved. So... <laughs> Yeah, I had already uh, like I had already filled out DJT before I showed up to the bar. <laughs> uh, so I said DJT, right. I said DJT to a to a coworker earlier, and he's like, Department of Justice. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna cut into this like kind of kind of early, but I'm going to do a bitches make me sick, and. I've got a sounder for it now. That is one big pile of shit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, okay. This, this, week, this week, Ike is running the Bitches Make Me sh sh Sick campaign. <laughs> oh, there! I forgot to tell you, there is an audio selection I needed to change on Discord, but we'll do that after the show, and we'll just worry about okay. it next time. Okay, so Chelsea Handler used to date 50 Cent, and she went on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon, a cup like a week or so ago, right before Halloween. This lady is fucking unhinged. Oh my god. Oh, I can't wait. I have not seen this, people. You've not seen this? Not okay, seen here this. we go. So fucking hate Jimmy Fallon. He used to be funny, but now he's not. Yeah. I don't like all funny. of these all of these comedians do what they do what is referred to as clapter. It's where they say stuff that people agree with, and so they're like, Oh, I agree with that, so I have to laugh now. Right. Okay, here we go. I almost oh, forgot yeah. to bring up the computer, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's get this thing going. heard about yeah. my ex-boyfriend, right? You can hear that, right? And his support of, yeah. of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah, what's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets, and I go, wait, what's happening? Because you said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend, and then he, what does he do? He's supporting Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, isn't a plan of, of Joe Biden's. That's, that's, that's a lie. So he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being 50 cent to 20 cent. And I, and I had to remind him that he was a black person, so he can't vote for Donald Trump and that he shouldn't be influencing an entire swath of people who may listen to him because he's worried about his own personal pocketbook. So, I haven't heard back from him yet, but I, I am willing to, you know, seal the deal in more ways than one if he changes his mind and publicly denounces Donald Trump. I might be willing to go for another spin, if you know what I'm talking about. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we finish. Oh, your vagina is so... It, oh, yeah, because your vagina <laughs> at, at fucking 52 years old there, lady, is... Uh, is got, is just so magical and is so special. I've got Fuck I've got another here. I've got another one for her. How Fuck dare out you? of here with that! How dare you? God, God. God oh. damn it! Make me no, sick. No, have you ever heard of um, oh. 
Have you ever heard of a guy named, um, what's this guy's name? His, uh, his channel is Officer Tatum. This guy is hilarious. But he his take on what she just said is amazing. And he's 100% correct. But I was going to say it, but you can hear it directly from the mouth of a black man. Yeah, I want to see what he says. Y'all got to be stupid. Let me let you hear what this racist white woman saying. Yeah, you racist. You're a racist white woman. Let me, let me. Fuck yeah. Karen's. This is, this is a Karen. These are racist white people right in your face, and y'all just letting them have it. Racist white woman. Let me show, let me show y'all the film. So let's roll this. Listen to what this fool said. You heard about my ex-boyfriend, right? Fifty Cent. And oh, like she owned him. She she owns Fifty. She owns Fifty. Right. 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 Of, of, of uh, Donald Trump. Yeah. What's going on between you? I, I saw your tweets, and I go, wait, what's happening? Because the well, they got into a Twitter war. So just so y'all know, they got into a Twitter war. But she explained. Oh. You said he was your favorite ex-boyfriend, and then he, what does he do? He's supporting. He's your favorite ex-boyfriend until he think outside of the box. And to the man right. had a brain for his own, he was your favorite. Yep. Trump? He says he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes, which, by the way, isn't a plan of Joe Biden's. That's yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> he doesn't want to pay 62% of taxes because he doesn't want to go from being... 50 cents to 20 cents. Exactly. The brother worked hard, came from the hood, got shot like nine yeah. times, and he's now a multi-millionaire. Yeah. He's not going to give his money away, white lady. And I... I love saying white lady because I trash you racist. Nobody <laughs> like racist, and she's a racist. And Damn I right. remind him that he was a black person. Oh. <laughs> I had to remind oh. him that he's a this black is... person. I had to remind him. Like, he's not smart enough to know every day he wake up that he got brown skin. Or no, not all the 40-some years of his life, because I'm sure he's in his 40s. All the 40-some plus years of his life, he don't know he black. Yeah. You, Miss yeah. the, the white racist liberal, you have to tell him and put that Negro back in place and tell, remind him that you still black and I still own you. Oh. We tell you what to do. You still black. It. You still a slave. That's what Chelsea Handler is saying. So, God all right. damn. I'll, I'll put I'll put a link to the rest of the video down in the down in the comments. I don't want I don't want to take any anything away from him, but holy damn, that man, that man is so right. He is so, so right. He's got a great channel. Like I really like watching his stuff. Hell yeah. Oh, before we continue, um, I, I wanted to explain my hat. Did you see the hat that I'm wearing? It says "Make Pax Prime Again." Because they changed Ike, packs. Ike, Ike, really, really quick. I just want to say that I fully support this cause. Um, it is a just and fine cause, and you should all support this cause. Well, because uh, uh, Penny Arcade Expo went. More? The Penny Arcade Expo went from being Pax Prime with the one that was in Seattle to being Pax West because they had Pax right. East, Pax South, Pax Australia, and there's Pax Unplugged. And so they didn't want to, they wanted people to start branching out to the other ones. They didn't want to make the Seattle one the primary PAX. And so they stopped calling it PAX Prime. They called it PAX West. And so right around 2016 is the year that they changed it. We came up with this statement and I had a hat made It's a, to mimic the, the uh, Donald Trump make America great again. So make PAX Prime again. If they had a PAX this year, I would have gone and I would have worn it. Yes, yes. It, it's a, it is a noble cause. Uh, the Seattle PAX should always be prime. That's where it started. Yep. Uh, that's, that's where they are all compared to. So it is the prime PAX. You know, also, I'm before, wearing my... Uh, before before there was a... Election. I'm wearing my election shirt. Before there was an East and the South and Australia, everyone came for Prime. Yeah, it was just no. Actually, it was just PAX, and then That's they right. made. That's right. Then, then they made in 2011. They made PAX West, and so it was PAX West and PAX Prime. It was PAX Prime, and for four years it was PAX Prime until 2006. No, no, no. PAX West. No, you're right. You're right. PAX East. You're right. Not PAX West, okay. PAX East okay. uh, in uh, Boston. If yes. For four years, PAX Prime was PAX Prime, and then they called it PAX West. 
Right. And oh, I think it's strappy, but so yeah, I I interrupted you a little bit to try to show off my my awesome cardigan. But yeah, that was good. Also, I have a my sure. What is this uh, Pax Unplugged? Oh, Pax Unplugged is a traveling Pax, but it only focuses on board games. Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. Name makes sense. So Never it's called Pax sense. Unplugged. It's it's a tabletop only. Also, I moved my uh, I moved my shelf, and I've got a bunch of really cool knickknacks up there. I'll change them around a few times around them around a bit. <laughs> In fact, right now I have my uh, Playmobil DeLorean that lights up back there. Badass. I'll post a, I think I posted a picture, but I'll post a video on the Instagram and uh, and I'll update the uh, the description with a link to it. Beautiful. Down below. Beautiful. And since All right, well, we... Enough, enough, of this, enough of this racist lady. Okay, fuck her. Well, so I, she hasn't been on the screen for a little while. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a... A new segment I like to call Let's Talk Video Games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on. It gets better, it gets better. I can I can I can I can spam it. <laughs> oh, that was weird. Oh, I think I just fucked up all my audio. <laughs> oh jeez, yeah. Oh fuck. <laughs> hold on. Jesus Christ. Um hold on. Say something. Something. Jesus crap. Um, I have to close out of an app and reopen it. Give me one second. Let me uh, move <laughs> this on. Doing too much. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Can I hear you at all? Perfect. Okay. Now it's oh, better. There you go. I just fucked yeah. up the app that that I was using. <laughs> It's a <laughs> it's a mixer app, and thank God it didn't take that long to load. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's talk video games. I found this the other day, so let me pull that up really quick for us. Yeah, what is going on with this? This is a – I actually so – we'll watch the video, and then I'll read some of yeah. the Wikipedia article. But I have it pulled up on my Steam, not to play, but to, um, to, to read some of the uh, reviews. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what so the fuck? So what this Did is I just is watch. This is called I Love You. Oh, it's a dating simulator. <laughs> Colonel Sanders. It's a dating sim made by the actual KFC. <laughs> it's free on Steam if you want to download it. <laughs> so this gets even better. If you want, it's a dating simulator. If you want, I have recorded myself playing a little bit of it. <laughs> oh, we oh. can watch this. I'll give commentary. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. I gotta okay. see this. Oh. So this is amazing. Like this is really stupid. I named oh. myself seriously in this. So right here is actually really hilarious. You can click. You can click, throw the clock out the window and go to bed, and then it just ends the simulator. <laughs> it just, That's it awesome. just stops. But the entire idea is you're you're going to a culinary school, and you're trying to date Colonel Sanders, <laughs> essentially. <laughs> and it's it's a um, it's a parody. It's a parody on those weebo um, weebo like anime dating sims that yeah, they have yeah. on fucking fucking um like everywhere everywhere um oh. yeah oh my fucking audios just went dead again Ooh, man hold on let me, fuck i'm gonna have to do something different give me a hold second on. here guys i'm <laughs> going to reopen this app wow give me a second hold on hold on wow hold on hold on 
we are professionals here at That's right. seriously a podcast. <laughs> so we're gonna have to um, we're gonna have to think about something different then. Or I, I think I might know what's ro- might know what's wrong with this, and we'll change it for next time. But I think we're good for now. Oh, this is so, too good. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, let's go here. We're gonna go here, and um, I want to read some of the reviews because these are hilarious. Yeah. So this one's just gonna come very to Two hundred hours into this game, never gets old. Got wow. recommended. Not recommended. Didn't get to sex with the white haired geezer. <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Sand makes me horny. <laughs> I've only played it for five minutes, but I just had to, but I just had to stop. If I'd continued to play this amazing gem of a game, it would have ruined gaming for me forever. No game will ever compare to this treat. <laughs> Wait, hold on, hold on. Before you scroll down, scroll back up a little bit. For the Colonel Sand makes me horny. Fifty-five people found this review helpful. <laughs> All right, we'll make it 56. <laughs> yep. <laughs> awesome. Um, fingers won't be the only thing I'm licking tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't explain why, but man, do I want KFC right about now. <laughs> yeah. Nope. That's a great, that's a great like, username, Chad Flexington. <laughs> <laughs> My keyboard was covered in mashed potatoes and gravy after I finished the game. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so this game, this game came out in November of last year. So this thing has this gym, this gem of a game has been available for over a year at this point. Man, well that's th- that's kind of the same thing that happened with like Among Us. That was like two years ago, wasn't it? Well, no, no, it's Among Us now getting popular. Among Us is actually a good game. This game is just hilarious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, right there. Go the up best, a little bit. Best game, game would, I ever played, but... Yeah. No, the game would be better if they had an option to change young Colonel to old Colonel and marry him and have a chicken child. Have a chicken child. <laughs> well, that is fun. 12 out of 10. They gave, I'm going to give a yes on that one. This one has 13 people found this helpful. <laughs> <laughs> but no, um, let's see here. Uh, oh, God. Uh, so here it is. Uh, the release of the game follows the reintroduction of Colonel Sanders into KFC's marketing campaign in 2015 and as part of the company's strategy to make the Colonel a part of pop culture. Oh, reimagining yeah. the historical figure for modern times. The game successfully received public attention due to the can you believe it premise both before and after the game's release. Here it is, gameplay. The game takes place over a three-day semester at the fictional University of Cooking School, Academy for Learning, where the player the player character is studying to become a chef. The player is presented with dialogue choices that present opportunities to win Sanders' favor (laughs) as well as interact with other characters in the story including the player's best friend Miriam. Rivals Ashley? Ashley? I don't know. Whatever. The Van Van and Van Van the Man. The Man Man. Sprinkles Sprinkles slash Professor Dog and other students Bob Clank the robot and, and the nameless student. <laughs> a single playthrough takes about an hour, not including a replay in different storyline branches. So it's essentially wow. just a choose your own adventure book. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm Luke I'm, I'm, response. I'm done. I'm done. I'm out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out of that. <laughs> yeah. Next uh, fucking subject. Okay. Um <laughs> So, oh, here, I found this on Reddit, and this makes me sad. So this came from the, this, came from this preparations for election day. What a sad state of affairs. Yeah. And this was posted by um, udevelev711. And this is a picture. Who knows if it's their original picture or they stole it from somewhere else. But I actually saw some people, and I took a picture of some people, Excuse me, boarding up a uh, State Farm insurance thing off of Burnside. So this, oh shit, 
I'm not showing people this. There it is. There it is. Yeah, that, now it's on the screen. So, yeah, no, this is actually really sad. I'm going to 100% say don't go to the Portland subreddit and do not read the comments on this. Because the, the, the title of this says that it's um, a sad state of affairs. And people are like, it's not a sad state of affairs. It's just the common the common neutrality or whatever of the, the, the common uh, whatever. Fuck you. No. No, never it's go, not. Never <laughs> go to the Portland subreddit and read the fucking comments. Those people are yeah. fascist assholes from Antifa. Yeah, yeah they're, they're, uh, they're something else, man. That was not a contradictory statement. Antifa is a fascist organization. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Just because you say Antifa, it doesn't mean you're not anti-fascist. I mean, it doesn't mean you're, fasc- you're well, not fascist. You I'm go. anti-fascist, but I've been called a fascist oh, before. Yeah. I believe every... Uh, no, we'll, we'll get into that later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, how about we go through some Babylon Bee articles really quick? Cool. So here we go. This one's one of my favorites. I saw this one earlier. Two birds with one stone. Man protests, uh, man protests racial injustice, completes Christmas shopping in one trip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we need to read this, but... <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Go down a little bit. Go down a little bit. Uh, police are bad or whatever, he quickly added as he made his way to Target for some stocking and stuffers. <laughs> this... This next one, this next one is my favorite. Uh, um, ben Shapiro's voice now available for your GPS. No. This no. this article this article was hilarious. Um, let's see, let's I close out of this. Fuck this. Uh, U.S. Well, this is epic. You can now get Ben Shapiro's voice for your GPS unit. You can navigate to your destination with Ben Shapiro's voice rapidly telling you where to go, punctuated by sponsored live reads of various products. <laughs> Here it is. Let's see. I'm going to do my best Ben Shapiro voice. Hey, fam. We're going to be turning right up ahead. But first, let's talk about your life insurance, Shapiro's voice said in a demo of the software released by developers. Cars are deadly. Some, uh, let's see. Cars are deadly sometimes, and you don't want to get into an accident and die without making sure you have the best rate on your life insurance. Check out Policy yeah. Genius for their incredible rates. The, I, I'm sorry, but you're already you're you're going too slow. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Okay, okay, so, so like, turn left here, but facts don't care about their feelings. Particularly speaking, in every instance of Western civilization, when people turn right at the center section, they improve <laughs> prosperity and outcomes for all of society. <laughs> That's just basic lo- logic and facts here, folks. That's just that's just basic logic and facts here, folks. Yeah. There you Unfor- go. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Unfortunately, he spoke so fast that the driver couldn't understand him, missed the turn entirely, and drove off a cliff. <laughs> the software has been recalled, however, since it only told people to make right turns. Oh, good. I see what they did there. Nice. Nice. <laughs> that one's so good. Oh, right, here geez. we go, here we go. We were warned. SCOTUS rules six to three that voting for Biden is unconstitutional. Oh <laughs> How dare That's pretty you. funny. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh no, this is just new stuff that they have. Let's see. Biden pulls well among Pentecostals after he speaks in tongues. <laughs> have you seen that video? No, but I heard that was pretty pretty much a wreck. Let me, let me see if I can f- let me see if I can find it. Yeah, uh, it was what it was a Biden gaffe. Uh, hey, seriously, is live right now. Hey, look Biden, at that uh, gaffe. Nice. Uh, no, it's just like compilations. But no, he said some something really stupid. I'll find it later. It doesn't matter. SAT is now just a single page requiring you to draw devil horns on a picture of Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'm going to link to these Babylon B articles like in their entirety. I'm just going to link yeah. to the Babylon B. <laughs> yeah, you guys can go to it. Trump lures progressive voters away from polling places by setting up statues of Columbus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> And look at the look at the picture of like him like 
or like running away. <laughs> oh God. Oh man. Business owners boarding up in case party of love and tolerance loses. <laughs> <laughs> Reminder, check your kid's candy for bags of Reese's peanut butter cups so you can eat them before they do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there was one earlier, yeah. hold on. Um there was one that I saw yesterday that was not yesterday but on Halloween that was hilarious. Let me see if I can find it. Um Antifa celebrates Halloween with Halloween the fun evening of brick or beating. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, that sounds like them. Oh, there it, it is. Uh, like... Democrats hand out extra ballots to trick or treaters. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> FBI uncovers plot by Ryan Johnson to direct an episode of The Mandalorian. Ooh, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of the Mandalorian, I do have a Mandalorian thing I want to talk about. Have you seen the newest oh, episode? No, I still haven't seen Damn it. it. I gonna, know. Gonna, so, next, I heard it's really good. Next episodes, the, until until the season's done, we're going to have a segment where we talk about it. Yeah, yeah. So we, we, need, you, we need to keep up to date. Yeah, but we'll, um, uh, we'll talk about the next episode. What does it come out, Thursdays or something? It's Fridays. 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 Okay. Do so you have that'll, Disney? That'll be perfect. perfect. Do you have Folks, Disney Plus? Can... No, but I can get. The I'll give you my. I'll give. I'll give you my login. Okay. I'll add. I'll add but, you in there. But, but we'll be able to talk about episode one and two next. Well, this, this I wanted. I wanted to make a joke, but I think I'll save it for the next episode because All if right. I tell it to you now, it'll be funnier if you actually have seen the episode. Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, good. That is everything that I have, except yep. I have some Giuliani stuff based on um, the stupid Borat movie. If you want to talk about that for a second, I can pull that up. Yeah. All right, cool. Yeah. So let's take this back to here. Other than that, I'm I'm out of material. That's oh, all actually, I got. Hold on. I do have one thing that I did want to talk about real quick. Okay. So a thing that happened to me last week, I was on the Max on my way to work. So th for those that don't know, the Max is the Metro Area Express here in Portland. It is our light rail system. And I usually take it. A somebody Did somebody message me on? No, okay. It's our light rail system here in Portland. And I was there on there. It was like 630-ish a.m. in a fairly packed train as far as uh, COVID is concerned. <laughs> a homeless guy got on and went and essentially so I'm going to use the term homeless here because I'm just assuming that he was homeless because he went and yeah. harassed everybody on the train asking for money and he was aggressive about it too like super aggressive and I'll I'll explain how aggressive this guy is because I encountered him later on in the week as well but he went to everybody on the train and pretty much if he had headphones on, he'd walk up like this. And then when nobody gave him money, he went from one end of the train and ran, not ran, but walked to the other end of the train ranting, saying something to the effect, you all fucking disgust me. This, you should all be ashamed of yourselves because nobody fucking gave him money. And I'm sitting here thinking like, oh, at this point, I'm glad I didn't give you money because you, I don't owe you shit. Yep. I don't owe this motherfucker anything. This is what socialism is doing to our society, especially our fucking homeless people. It's making it a bigger problem. That guy needs to get help and needs to find an actual fucking job. It's not my job to pay for his drug habits. Yeah. I'm assuming he has drug habits. Most of them do. But later on in the week, like I was waiting for the bus on Wednesday. So this one happened on Monday. I was waiting for the bus on Wednesday and I ran into this guy again or he ran into me. And so I'm standing there and I have my headphones on and I'm looking at my phone. I know that he's talking to the other people at the bus stop and I know that he's that he's addressing me and he's standing there and he's like, sir, 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 just yelling that. And so I I stop what I'm doing on my phone. I look up and I just look really annoyed. I'm like, what? 
And then he goes like, do you have any money? No. And then I go back to my phone. And then he gets on the same bus I get on. And as soon as he gets off the bus, there's a guy walking past the bus. And the first thing he does after he gets off the bus, he looks that guy in the eye and he's like bends over and does, and does this at him. Like, holy shit. This guy is aggressive as fuck. I, I can't believe anybody gives him any fucking money. Yeah, fuck that, dude. What an asshole. And this has been, this has been Uncle Ike's story time. <laughs> I'm so glad I don't have to ride public transit. Jesus Christ! I've there's uh, a car there is a um, there's a Volkswagen that I found on route that um, is for sale for thirteen hundred. There's hey. a guy in my complex that wants to buy the bug I have that doesn't technically run right now for two yeah. for two grand. I'm thinking about saying, hey, just give me the two grand. I'm gonna go buy this buy this Volkswagen right now. This Volkswagen, this uh, <clears throat> what did I say it was this. Uh, this other car. I'm going to buy this other car right now and just not worry about having to even work on the bug anymore. Yeah. I think that might be the best option because then it's his Probably. problem and not mine. And I'm going to I'm gonna go find that, that Volvo. It's a Volvo. I'm going to go find that Volvo and talk to the guy and be like, hey, I can get you the money. Just give me a couple of weeks. Let's, let's, let's work this out. Cool. Because I wouldn't mind. It's the it's same. Right. It's it's the same year in style as the one that I used to have that I fucking destroyed the engine in. <laughs> but Jeremy's dad knows how to work on those things, and I'm gonna do it better this time. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. So, so that's, that's, that's a show. our car talk for the show. <laughs> that's what. That's our car talk for the show. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not good with cars, but I know Me. certain cars. It's fine. Uh, yeah, I don't know shit about cars. Okay, so, anyway. so um, let's uh, let's do let's do that uh, that outro shit. Yeah. Well, thanks again. Thanks for everything, folks. <laughs> folks, folks, like let's let's talk about Birch Gold. <laughs> <laughs> like, share, subscribe. You know. All okay. That stuff. Um, hit the hit the like button. Make sure to hit the dislike button twice yep yep i like it i like it when you say it i want you to say it though make sure to uh thumbs down twice there folks that'd be great that'd be appreciated Thank subscribe share and um i'm going to mute us and i'm gonna run our outro really quick and then i'll i'll get back to you in like two i'll get back to you in like two seconds bye bye Ooh.